performing the drip test on any of our rain gauges, you want to make sure that you have a, enough water, a cup, something to poke a small pinhole in the cup, and regular Phillips head screwdriver. This is the 5-in-1 sensor. To calibrate this unit, you will want to make sure that you have it placed in a container like you see here or in a kitchen sink. Whatever method you use, you want to make sure that it's level. So that those, if you, you're performing the drip test, you want to have that water drip through nice and slowly. It should take 20 minutes or so or a half hour for that water to completely drip through. Is We're going to poke a couple small pinholes in the bottom of a cup. And then we are going to put our water in, eight ounces. And you can just pour that right in because it's going to drip in fairly slow. And you'll let that continue doing that for the whole eight ounces. When you're done with that eight ounces, you should have a reading of 1.06. If you ran the test several times and you're confirming the readings are higher or low, then we can adjust those screws. The screws are on the bottom side of the sensor. When you're looking inside the sensor, they are going to look like they're different heights, but it's because of the recessed um, plastic in there that makes them look that way.